Jumpin' Baby Baptist. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share our content, donate. If you love our videos, like, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, share our content on social media so that get the word out so that you like what you're hearing and donate. Your tax deductible gift to higherthings.org keeps us filling the ears of, the, uh, of, of young people with the gospel. And we need that gospel in these dark times. The traditional fourth Sunday gospel alternate reading is Luke chapter one, which has a leaping baby, John the Baptist. Let's sort of take a look at it, shall we? So Mary, right after she hears the angel Gabriel from heaven came with wings of drifted, drifted dripping snow and eyes of flame, um, she rose, and in those days she made haste to the village, to a town of Judea, and came into the house of Zechariah and was greeted by Elizabeth. Now, Elizabeth is her cousin. Zechariah has already been struck mute because he didn't believe in the birth, that the, the, the Lord's words and promises concerning the birth of John the Baptist. Now, when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the baby leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Now, so this is important. In a universe where we wonder whether or not a baby is alive or not, in a world in which babies are considered choices and given a different name, fetus, when in the womb, in this universe, comes the reality of the gospel, that, that baby John the Baptist in the womb hears the voice of Mary, and it's without doubt that babies can hear the voice of their mother. Any parent knows that, that, that the babies hear the voice of their mom and dad. Um, when my oldest was born, he was squealing like, a, like, a, like a, something bad had happened to him until it was given to his mother, and the sound of his mother's voice, the sound of uh, his mother's heartbeat comforted him. Baby John the Baptist is um, without doubt, without sort of any hesitation at all, his whole job in life from conception on, from before conception, is to proclaim the, the, uh, Jesus as the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And so even when at this moment, while he's still cooking, he does that job with a little leap, a little bit of Advent joy. He, he takes a little hop and celebrates. Let's see what Mary said. Let's see what Elizabeth says. So Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and proclaimed with a great voice. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. You see, the big deal about Mary is her son. That's the big deal. Mary's a lot of things. She's blessed. All nations uh, call her blessed. Um, her soul magnifies the Lord. All of that. She is the very mother of God. And that's what Elizabeth says. Why is it grounded to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? She is the mother of Yahweh. She's the mother of God. She, uh, Mary is. But what's most important is the babe in her womb because he's the one that will take upon himself our naughty and nice, live the life that we should live, die the death we deserve, and raise again on the third day. And he will save us. And John gives a little hop to it. And we sing some songs about it, watch some movies about it as we prepare for his coming in the next few days. But make no mistake about it, baby John the Baptist is alive. And he does a little hop as he's doing his job, the job that he's appointed for, to point to Jesus and say, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. A blessed Advent as you light candles, sing songs, and prepare for the coming of the Lord. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short.